Uh, he had never he never tried to use it, according to law enforcement, or even pull it out. But they, along with the school district officials, say it was a clear lapse in security. He could have had a gun. He could have had a grenade. He could have had anything. Even Sheriff Mike Chitwood said he was shocked at the security breach. 51-year-old Derek Marlowe walked into school Friday morning, got into a classroom in session, sat at an empty desk. After all that we've gone through, all the training, the guardians, uh, technology, it's, it just goes to show you that it's only as good as the people who we put in place to follow the procedures. According to the report, the suspect rode his bike onto campus through the bus and faculty entrance, proceeded past a campus advisor who saw him and called another advisor about it on his cell phone, but never notified school staff via school radio of the suspicious person and never notified anyone of a code red incident. We had a disoriented person come onto our campus who had no business at the school. The school did call Creep families with this recorded message home, and in a statement, the school district wrote in part, security protocols were not followed. Among them, locked classrooms. According to the report, after a student used the bathroom, the door to the classroom was left open. Nobody feels good about it. We spoke briefly with Spruce Creek High Principal Dr. Todd Sparger about the breach. He couldn't explain why the on-campus school resource deputy was not immediately notified, but Sheriff Chitwood says all involved have to take responsibility. What can we do better? And, and then we're going to implore the school board that they need to do better. Mm. And we'll be hearing about that tomorrow. We had been asking the district, school district superintendent to speak with us. He's agreed to sit with, down with us tomorrow. We've also asked for surveillance video of the breach on campus. We'll see if that's released as well. Again, a lot of concern about the fact that someone got on, on campus who had no business being there. Fortunately, nothing untoward happened involving the young people. We're live in Port Orange, Volusia County. Claire Metz, West 2 News.